Hi, good morning. Today we will discuss some teaching interview tips which are being asked by the officers during the recruitment of teachers. There are three stages of interviews. In the first stage, the officers will ask you some questions which are related to classroom, not to your subject. The second, the specialist will ask questions related to your subject. And the last stage is demonstration and presentation of some topics in front of the students. So we will start from the first stage. The first question is mostly asked by the officers, tell me about yourself. So many new teachers are responding in the way that my name is, for example, Ahmad, I have studied BS in mathematics and so on. But here, the officers don't want from you this information because already your CV is in front of the officers. So what is the correct answer that you have to respond is, I am a positive person who has an enthusiastic outlook on life. I love my job and I get a great sense of achievement from seeing my students develop and grow as individuals. If I can have a positive impact on their future, I feel I am doing my job well. I am an effective communicator both in writing and verbally, and I have strong ability to plan and organize effectively, something which is crucial to the role of a competent teacher. I cope very well with pressure and can adopt my style or teaching method when needed to deliver consistent results. I have an understanding of the bigger picture and the pressures that are placed on the school. I am someone always implements effective behavior management processes in the classroom and strive myself on an ability to continually develop both personally and professionally. The second question, what was your motivation to become a teacher? The perfect answer is, I realized I had an abundance of natural skills and qualities that would enable me to become a competent teacher. These included strong communication skills, organizational and planning capabilities, positive work values and ethics, integrity and determination to ensure the students I am teaching, get the opportunity to learn and develop in a safe and fulfilling environment. The third question is, describe your teaching style. Here, what you answered, you have to show in your classroom presentation. That must be similar, otherwise you will be rejected. My teaching style is not traditional. My teaching style is primarily centered on classroom engagement, student-centered classroom. I adopt my teaching style in order to cater for everyone and make the material as interesting as possible. I like to use group exercises, colorful PowerPoint slides, and even videos where possible to demonstrate my learning points. I believe this, this is something which increases student interest significantly and from my experience leads to a better learning experience for all. I'm highly effective at behavior management and focus on the three R's of respect, response, and the right way to learn. These have served me well over time. 
Finally, I have an approachable, inclusive style of teaching that is sufficiently flexible enough to cater for a diverse range of learning styles, needs, and requirements. And you have to show these things in your presentation. The question is, how would you manage the behavior of your students in the classroom? As we know that in classroom, we have different types of students from different cultures. So how you will manage them? The answer. I would set boundaries from the get-go. These put in wall three things as we discussed, respect, response, and the right approach to learning. Now, what is respect? Respect is the respect of each other and me, the teacher. Response is the process in which we will abide by in the classroom when either asking questions or answering questions. The right approach to learning is getting the students to understand the benefits of learning and how this impacts on their future. Of course, there are other facets to managing behavior in the classroom, including having a teaching style that is appropriate to students' needs. But I feel strongly that it's important to set firm boundaries from the outset that we all abide by. These boundaries I implement within my lessons have stood me in good stead and I rarely have behavior issue with my students. This question is important. How would you cope with pressures of teaching? I fully understand the pressures that are placed on teachers, and I also understand the pressures placed on you, the school. These pressures need to be managed effectively so that we all work together to achieve the aims of the school and meet the needs of the students we are teaching. To begin with, I believe in proper, effective learning of both time and lessons, Planning helps significantly reduce stress as a teacher. Secondly, I believe in maintaining a positive and happy mindset, which is very important. If you are happy and positive, this rubs off on your work colleagues and also on the students you are teaching. Finally, I look after myself outside of work. I eat Finally, I look after myself outside of work. I eat well, and whilst I'm not a massive fitness fantastic, I often go walking and carry out physical exercise to clear my head, and this is also helps to reduce stress too. After COVID-19, this question is being asked by many officers. How did you overcome the challenges of teaching during COVID-19? What practices from hybrid learning will you continue to incorporate in your teaching when students return to classroom? The perfect answer is, I overcome the challenges of teaching during COVID-19 by using easy and effective platforms, different strategies, CPDs, continued professional development workshops in the school and webinars, trial and error method to modify platforms and online strategy, feedback and reflections from students' comparison and administration. The following practices I will prefer to use in my teaching when students return to the classroom, different application tools, for example, time to climb, cohort, all GeoGebra, Mathletics, and some other resources which are important that we have to use. 
Here are more than 100 application tools which we can use for different subjects. However, in face-to-face, -face, I will prefer written work, copy book, and discussion in math as these two were not improved very well during hybrid learning. The second stage we will discuss in our next video 